Hey everyone, my name is Jake Boris. I am the founder and owner of Your Life Gym. When August Burns Red was on tour with Killswitch Engage, that tour for us was gonna be just a monumental tour. Um, one that we knew we weren't gonna forget. And three days in, we get news of COVID completely shutting everything down. So I remember the day we, we got back we kind of thought to ourselves, like, what are we going to do? Heart support, my nonprofit. We started to have just a massive influx of people that were struggling with depression and loneliness and, you know, the fact that everybody's locked up in their homes, uh, the fear of what COVID could possibly do to them. But then the real pain set in, I think for me personally too, was uh, the passing of George Floyd. Really struck a core with me and I know my bandmates. And then I started to see all this division, all this hate and anger and frustration, and rightfully so. I started to just see how much pain and hurt that it had caused and how much pain and hurt COVID was causing. And then I started to see it locally in my community. The gym that I would go to was called Iron Fit. Uh, I remember the day that John Lucas, the, the owner, posted on Facebook saying, hey, I'm closed, like I can't survive COVID. And I had this vision of what your life is uh, when I was 24 years old. And I felt like it was a vision that like I feel God gave me. Kind of shared that with my executive director, Dave King, two years ago. I said, man, I really feel called to do this because it, it's something that can um, help unify the community and help engage people about their mental health. And then when Iron Fit closed its doors, I really felt like God was like, hey, I, this is the time that you, you need to give back to your community and help people because of the social injustice, because of what's going on with COVID, because of the division. So I call some people in the fitness industry that I'm really friends, close friends with. I call Rob Bailey, who owns a gym called The Warhouse in, in Reading. And I said, hey man, he's a good friend. I said, hey, I'm thinking about opening a mental health gym, a gym that fuses physical fitness and mental fitness to help bring my community together and to help them kind of understand their mental state and where their heart is, and hopefully try to breathe some, some unconditional love into them and help them become you know, a better version of themselves or get through some healing to get them to a place of community and unity, man, because this place is just completely divided. And he said, I love it. I love this idea, Jake. He said, if you really wanna do this, if you really want to go down this road, it's not gonna be easy. I'm thinking to myself, well, okay, you know, I don't have that much money just laying around, uh, but okay, that's cool. I'll, I'll, I'll get to that place when I get there and we'll figure it out. So I get on the phone with my realtor who sold me my amazing house here in, in Lidditz and I was like, hey, I wanna do this mental health gym. And he was like, dude, that's a fantastic idea. He's like, I'm not really in commercial realty, but I think I can, you know, do some homework and figure out some things. Give me a couple days. I said, all right, man, cool, sounds good. So then I went downstairs to my roommate, Kevin Shrek. He's the graphic designer, good friend of mine. And I was like, hey man, I'm thinking about starting a gym. He was like, that's insane. He goes, I do a lot of graphic design work for this exercise equipment company called Arsenal Strength. And I remember the president's wife she said that you actually know her husband, that you went on tour with him. Uh, his name's Andrew Hall. And I was like, what? That's insane. Um, Cause I did, I went on tour with a band called The Showdown. He played drums for The Showdown. And so I reached out to him and I said, hey man, how are you? Like, this is crazy how things have, you know, how our life has, has moved on. And you know, we're touring and you've got this, this equipment company that you started from the ground up. So I said, I want to share this with you. I want to share this vision and mission of 
trying to help people um, with their mental and physical state. And he was completely just overtaken by this concept and this this vision. And he said, Jake, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to my my business partners and, and think on this for a little bit, see some ways that maybe we can, you know, help you get this equipment and afford it because it's it is, it's a it's a large ticket item. I was in my garage working out and, and the the postman shows up and says, hey, you've got this package. And I was like, where'd this come from? Like, wh who's this from? And uh, I actually have it right here. It's from my buddy, Brett. He was actually the uh, my hockey captain when I first started playing hockey. And it just says, hey man, you know, I just hope you're doing well, being blessed and, and staying healthy during COVID. And I was like, man, that's so cool. So I, I sent him a text. I said, dude, this is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, we gotta get on the phone and, and chat someday, you know, sometime soon. And so then I take Winston, my dog, for a walk later on in the day and my realtor calls me. He says, Jake, I've got four buildings, but this one I think is what is really gonna suit you really well. Um, but there's a catch, it's, it's attached to a church and I'm kind of laughing a little bit inside because I know my history with the church uh, has been, you know, just kind of a roller coaster. And I just felt, I just like kind of heard this voice say, hey, like, don't, don't judge the church. I go to their, their Instagram page and I'm, and I'm scrolling through their pictures. And um, as I'm scrolling through their pictures, I, I see the same guy, Brett, who gave me this gift the exact same day that my realtor told me about this building is playing guitar for the worship team for this church. I just started kind of laughing at that point because I'm like, cool, what a coincidence that this is, that this happened all on the same day. I said, okay, I've got to go check out this building. And I look at the pictures of this building and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, this is like perfect. It was just amazing, like, I saw it, thought it was a perfect send it to you, and I think you said the exact same thing. You're just like, oh my gosh. The building itself, like, for the gym and everything, I just, I thought it was amazing, meant to be, and even how it can break out into all the different rooms. It has, like, this really cool garage door, you know, not too big of a space. Uh, it's got some extra rooms so that we can do classes. The fact that it was the first building we looked at, too, I, it was just amazing. We've got a, a room for offices, which was really important to me, and then a room for personal training. And then we come home, and I was like, man, this is too good to be true. Like, I think I need to get on the phone with the pastor of this church because this section of the building is obviously connected to that church. And I really, uh, I really need to make sure that, um, that the church is okay with my vision and my mission, and the fact that unconditional love sometimes doesn't look religious. My realtor called me, she was all excited. She's like, you gotta meet this guy. She's like, he seems legit. He's a, a you know, rock star and he's starting this thing and, and is interested in your church. And she said, I could see this sort of uh, symbiotic thing where, you know, his, his, uh, emotional support ministry and the gym that they want to start would kind of fit in with the church. She's like, I think you're going to really like this guy. And I was like, all right, you know, that's great. Um, let me meet him. And a couple hours later, Jake gives me a call and he and I are talking on the phone for the first time. And I didn't know what to expect. You know, I hear this rock star and I never knew a rock star guy before. So I didn't know what it was going to be like talking to him. And, and it was just, we just connected right away. Like as soon as we were on the phone talking with one another, I felt like I was talking to like a friend or almost a brother immediately um, in that conversation and he just went into sharing his vision for what he saw and his passion to help people and when I heard his heart about how he just felt about people and wanted to see people receive help it just resonated with with me and my heart and how I feel about people and so we just decided to meet up and we got together and talked and and it was just like we felt like we were going in the same direction and so it was a real easy fit to say, yeah, come on, you know, you, you want the space in this church, we, we want you here, 
because I feel like we could really work together as a team and in some level and, and uh, just be a help uh, to people that uh, God sends our way. So. so I called Andrew, I said, let's book it, man. Let's, let's do it next weekend. Let's go in there, let's check out this building and see what it's about. And, um, and so <clears throat> as I'm waiting for Monday to come around, Friday rolls up and my executive director comes to visit me over the weekend to really talk about this gym and heart support and what that would look like. And I get a phone call from Andrew Hall, who is the um, president and owner of Arsenal Strength, the equipment company. And he said, hey man, um, I talked to everybody and we love what you're doing. So we're actually gonna outfit the whole gym with whatever equipment you want and we're just gonna go ahead and um, donate it to Heart Support and that way you've got your gym equipment. And it ended up being like $79,000. So then I was like, wow, okay, like this is real. So uh, we ended up, you know, getting a lease together and um, I signed the papers, you know. Um, I started to see these things come alive and I went, okay, holy smokes, I've got to find a trainer because I'm not, I'm not a, a fitness trainer. I'm not certified in that at all. And so I turned to More Weight, which is my fitness company that has trainers um, doing online and personal training. And we just got this new trainer and his name's Joel Chandler. And I was like, I had a vision of just him when I was thinking about trainers and who could lead this charge. And so I was like, you know what? This is getting out of control. This is crazy. Things are starting to happen, so I'm gonna get ballsy here. So I, I FaceTimed him and I called him and I said, look, I have a really big ask of you. I don't know what your situation is in Charleston, South Carolina, but I want you to walk beside me, be my partner, and let's build a mental health gym. So we get on the phone and we talk for 45 minutes. We get to the end of the call and he drops this bomb and asks me to leave Charleston to come up here and help him do it. And I was like, okay, you're gonna have to let me think about that one. He goes, no pressure, but hurry up, basically. <laughs> and my brand at the time, Spirit Form, was about engaging people in their psychological context to help them through fitness goals and work through the personal lives. It was equal parts exciting to hear him discuss this because it was what I was already doing and also completely discomposing because I had spent the last two years of my life starting all over because I had moved to Charleston and suddenly this dude shows up and he's like, leave it all. He thought I was crazy, but then a week later he came up here. We had a good time, heart to heart. Um, and then he went home and it wasn't oh, a handful of days later I made the decision, I have to do it. He quit his job at the gym. He, uh, he found someone to take his lease at his apartment and now he lives in my house with me and we're just doing this thing together. Right now during COVID, it's been extremely difficult to get plates and weights because they're all, most of them are manufactured in China. Sure enough, the gym Iron Fit that closed down Right down the street from me, John Lucas, the owner, said, hey man, you need some plates and weights. Like, I know what this gym has done for you. He said, dude, I'll sell you these um, for as cheap as I can, you know, um, because I want you to carry that on. Iron Fit can live in your life and I want to know that my weights are going to a good cost. So now we have his weights and we're refurbishing them uh, dropping them in vinegar water, scrubbing them, painting them. I get this phone call and Jake was really excited. Like, he was puppy gets a new chew toy excited. He was open up presents on Christmas morning excited. He was so excited, I got excited. It was an amazing conversation that we had. We're both excited, and then I realize that he's calling me for my, my business advice. So then I get in that protective mode that, you know, he's asking me about starting this gym during a pandemic where gyms are closed. Um, my office of physical therapy has been open for 23 years, and we're down to two half days a week. And he's asking me about, you know, this idea about opening up a gym. 
So we further discussed this and I kept challenging him and he never lost his intensity. And everything that I challenged him with, he, he had an answer and he had a valid reason to justify doing it. And what I learned from him was, it really is the best time to be doing this. And the passion really hooked me. Jake is one of the most kind and loving people that I know. Um, he's always wanting and enthusiastic to help people get through their mental health struggles. I mean, that's why he started Heart Support, uh, More Weight, and now Your Life Gym. The designs that I create that can really benefit others and you know go toward a company that's making an impact, um, that's really what I'm passionate about. And at the end of the day, I can look back at that and you know, really feel accomplished. Three of the key description words we discussed for the brand was strong, elite, and unisex. And I feel like we did a great job accomplishing that in this logo. The idea that we could have in the same place someone that could get some help emotionally with things that they're dealing with and we all deal with things and at the same time uh, work out and get their bodies fit uh, made a lot of sense uh, to me. From the start before we even started looking at buildings and you just kind of told me your vision uh, I love the idea and I think no one else is doing it and it's just something you can bring and I think it can it's needed across the whole entire country. The stigma of mental health uh, we don't talk about it. People are afraid to talk about it. Every family is affected by it. Every business is affected by it. With this pandemic, it's it's going to beyond get beyond comprehension, and and we're not even discussing it. Having the people that are trained and certified and be able to help point you to the directions you need, the meetings you need to go to, the the psychological help that they'll have for you, and just the basic um, community of, of your life is going to be amazing for our community and the people that that need it. I know for me, like before I went to a counselor for the first time, for an example, it just felt uh, like I was doing something wrong, it was scary, I didn't know what it was going to be like, and uh, didn't know, even, you know, you're talking to a counselor for the first time, what do they think of you? And so, like, the, as far as the world needing a safe place for, or people needing a safe place to go to get help for things they're dealing with is absolutely huge. And I think one of the great things that I find about Jake and the people that are working with him is they provide that sort of environment. Um, if you just sit down with him for 15 seconds, you find that um, he's a pretty safe guy to, to talk to and uh, you can say pretty much anything. And uh, it's, it's cool, it's accepted. And, and uh, so I think that that carrying over into his gym um, is really an awesome opportunity for um, people to just obtain help. It doesn't mean that everyone that walks through our doors needs the mental health services that we're going to have to offer. It just means that they're going to be in an atmosphere that if there were ever a time that they felt like they couldn't be genuine, they could be genuine in our community. Seeing that the, the real story here is that if you see something that is a deep desire or a calling in your life, I really wanted to encourage you to pursue it and understand that um, what I think is the most beautiful thing that God has given us is each other. And I wouldn't be able to do this without the people that have come alongside me to help me birth your life mental health gym. And it's not complete, it's not finished. We have a lot of work to do. We're waking up at like seven, six in the morning. We're not stopping until eight o'clock at night every night, Joel and I, but but it's it's happening and the reason for your life is you. Whoever's watching this, um, this gym is for mankind, it's for people, it's for us to reconnect, for us to, to see back into who we are and to find our true north and to um, have community again and to be able to overcome and find healing and let go of resentment and anger and frustration and even like condition uh, to put all that to a side and, and meet each other face to face one on one once again and help each other grow so that we can be the best versions of ourselves so that we can love ourselves and love um, others that are around us. And that's what Your Life Mental Health Gym is and that's what we're going to do. And, um, and I am extremely excited. I would be lying if I didn't say I was scared. But um, 
it's it's coming and um, and we're gonna make this happen and uh, so thank you for watching this thank you for caring um, thank God thank thank all these people that are helping and um, yeah and, and hopefully one day you can come walk through the doors and I can shake your hand and say thanks Thank you.